Welcome back to the Britannia Coin Company. We're a coin dealer based in Royal Wootton Bassett in the UK. In today's video, we're going to be looking at a set of coins which are individually the rarest commemorative coins you can find in your change out in circulation, with some of them having low enough mintages to dwarf even that of the Kew Gardens 50p, making that 50p seem like a common coin to find in your change when you compare the mintage figures. Let's get started then. These are the A to Z Alpha Bet 10p series. They were first produced in 2018 with 26 individual designs, one for each letter of the alphabet, depicting something quintessentially British. In 2018 there were 220,000 of each design minted for circulation. If we compare that to the mintage figure of the Kew Gardens 50p, the rarest circulating 50p, there were only 210,000 of that coin, so individually they were very similar mintage. Strangely though, they don't reach anywhere near the value of the Kew Gardens 50p for being so close in scarcity, but with 26 in the set and the combined mintage of 5,460,000, it may seem easier to find one of these from this set rather than thinking them as individual coins. They still sell for a decent margin over their 10p face value, ranging from £4 to £15, depending on the desirability of the letter, so upwards of 150 times their face value for the 2018 set. It's when we get into the 2019 set though that the mintages get ridiculously low, and that is what we're going to focus on. We start with A for Angel of the North. We're going to be making our way from the most common to the rarest and alphabetically if the coins have the same mintage. A large bulk of the coins we will start with A all had mintages of 84,000. That's already two and a half times less than the mintage of the Kew Gardens 50p. And these are the most common of the 2019 series. For the letter A, you're looking at up to £35 in value. Being the first letter of the alphabet does bump the value a bit. B for Bond next, again a mintage of 84,000. We see the iconic gun barrel imagery from the films, along with the 007 motif. Not the only time we saw the franchise on our coinage though, as there was a whole series of Bond themed coins released in 2020. The letter B for 2019 sells for up to £15. C for cricket next, a British sport that was spread across the British Empire and is still a hugely popular sport played in a number of forms. I won't be able to explain the game to you, not just because I have no idea how it works, but it's also rather complicated too. This coin again sells for up to £15. D for double decker bus next, a regular site for commuters, with the red London double decker buses being an iconic tourist image for the city and the country. Double decker buses were first introduced in London in 1847, at which time they were horse drawn. For this coin you're looking at up to £6 in value. E is for English breakfast, the thought of which is making me rather hungry, with a fried egg, bacon, sausages, tomato, mushroom, beans and a slice of toast hidden behind the letter, what a great way to start your day. Although across the UK there are some local additions such as black and white pudding, we do love ourselves a fry up. For this coin the value is up to £6.50, not a bad price for a decent breakfast. F is going to keep you hungry with fish and chips, the national dish of the UK and thought to have been brought to the UK by immigrant cultures in the 1800s. It is now very much part of our national identity and we all have our favourite chippy which we will each hail as the best in the land. For the coins though you're looking for up to £6. For G you might think it's globe but actually it's Greenwich Mean Time. You can see the line of longitude which runs through Greenwich in London and is used to synchronise time across the nation and further in the world. This coin sells for up to £6. H is a design you might recognise as it's the official badge of the Houses of Parliament. The same design which was used on the penny from decimalisation in 1971 until the change in the definitive designs on our coins in 2008. 
It's worth a few pennies though, selling for up to six pounds, or 600 pennies if you rather. I will transport your mind to seaside holidays and the tinkling of the ice cream van, with a tasty ice cream and flake to cool you off in the summer, although there is debate as to whether the English or Italians first created this dessert, it's a staple of the British holiday and the coin will cost you up to six pounds, that's a few ice creams worth. For Jay we have Jubilee, featuring the Gold State Coach, which was commissioned in 1760 for King George III, and has regularly been used in the Jubilee celebrations, although our late Queen did comment on how uncomfortable the vehicle was to ride in. This one will sell for up to £7. K you might think is Knights of the Round Table, but it's actually the central figure at the top of the design on this coin, who it's been created to honour, and that is King Arthur a legendary Celtic Briton who has been written about for centuries. Sat at the round table with his knights, which you can visit in the Great Hall in Winchester, this coin sells for up to £6.50. For the letter L we venture into Scotland to hunt for the Loch Ness Monster. Surrounded by beautiful Scottish scenery, the legendary creature has captured the world's imagination with multiple reported sightings and a few hoaxes. Even if you don't get a glimpse of the creature, it's still a stunning place to visit. The coin itself will fetch up to £13. Halfway in we have the letter M for Macintosh, a raincoat which was invented by Scottish inventor Charles Macintosh. In a country often portrayed as being wet and windy, it's essential wearing for those braving the elements, and the coin will cost up to £6.50. On to N next with NHS, or the National Health Service, one of the finest institutions across this land, providing free healthcare for all. Its 50th anniversary was marked with a 50 pence coin in 1998. Founded by Welshman and Nuren Bevan, the Labour Health Minister in 1948, the coin sells for up to £8.50. O can be a bit tricky to get the orientation right, it's for Oak Tree, a national symbol of England and the UK, although many other countries such as Germany, Poland, Moldova and many more make use of the Oak Tree in their own heraldry. The coin sells for up to £5.50. P is for postbox for mailing your correspondence. The oldest postbox in the UK dates back to 1809, although there are older examples throughout the world. They are though iconic British sites with the cipher of the ruling monarch on them which you can use to somewhat date them. Not just brilliant red, there are actually some gold ones dotted around the country to mark local Olympic gold medalists. The coin itself will sell for up to £6.50. The letter S breaks our alphabetical run, but the gap between houses a number of scarcer coins, which we're going to come back to later. So continuing our run with coins that have a mintage of 84,000, we have Stonehenge. It's a prehistoric monument in Wiltshire, as is the Britannia Coin Company. Although we aren't prehistoric, I'm sure my boss would tell me off if I called him that. Constructed from around 3000 to 2000 BC, it was added to the UNESCO list of World Heritage Sites in 1986, and the coin sells for up to £8. T is for the drink tea, with a fresh pot ready to be poured. First arriving in Britain in the 1650s, it has since become the drink of choice for many, although I prefer coffee personally. But it's obvious to see why tea was chosen to feature on this series of coins though, and this coin will sell for up to £6.50. On to you now, we have the Union flag of the UK. If you call it the Union Jack, you might get corrected, as the Union Jack is the name for it when flown at sea. Although this is more of a modern rule, so you can be forgiven if you call it the Union Jack. The coin though sells for up to £6. V for villages is our penultimate coin in the 84,000 mintage bracket. A village is larger than a hamlet, but smaller than a town. All are different classifications of collections of people living in an area. Again, not a solely British idea, it's another perception of idyllic British villages that make it seem more British than it really is. Also, what else can you really do with the letter V? The coin itself will sell for up to £7. Then we have X, which is a little bit of a stretch, but it's X marks the spot, with a pirate ship and a map with an X to mark where the treasure is buried. The golden age of English pirates was between 1650 and 1720, with Blackbeard or the literary character Long John Silver from the book Treasure Island. Again, what more can you really do with the letter X? 
The coin though will sell for up to six pounds. We loop back into the alphabet now with the letter Q for queuing. With only 83,000 minted, 1,000 less than the others which we've seen already, it's a really clever design with a queue of people through the letter Q. We Brits are often chided as enjoying the order of a good queue, with tales of people joining queues without even knowing what's going to be the end of it for fear of missing out. The coin though will sell for up to £6.50. R is next and we see a huge drop in the mintage down to only 64,000. The coin is for Robin, which is the national bird of Britain, perhaps not as intimidating as an eagle, but the Robin holds a special place in our hearts. The coin itself will sell for up to £17. W is the first letter on our last three coins to have only had a mintage of 63,000. W is for World Wide Web, demonstrated on the design with a spider's web. Invented by English computer science Sir Tim Berners-Lee, the World Wide Web is an interconnected system of public web pages accessible through the internet. The coin itself will sell for up to £14. The penultimate coin for today's video is Y for Yeoman Warder, more commonly referred to as Beef Eaters. They guard the Tower of London, home to the Crown Jewels and historically was the home of the Royal Mint itself. The coin will fetch up to £16. Our last coin, the one that gives me a bit of bother with my Canadian roots and so-called wrong pronunciation, is the letter Z for Zebra Crossing. Although the origins of these crossings is debated, some attribute it to MP James Callaghan, who became Chancellor of the Exchequer and therefore Master of the Mint, and was pivotal in deciding where it would relocate ahead of decimalisation, ending up in Chantrissant, 20 minutes down the road from Cardiff where Callaghan was MP for. This last coin will sell for up to £25. Well there we go, the rarest commemorative coins that you can find out in circulation. It'll be rather tough to complete the whole collection given how low some of these mintage figures are, but let me know in the comments which ones that you have found, and if you're yet to find your first one, let me know what your favourite design is. Be sure as well to subscribe to our YouTube channel, it's free to do and it means you won't miss out on any of our future uploads. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram where we post lots of pictures of our coins we're on twitter and tiktok we have our shop and online store but i'll see you next time for more amazing coins from the britannia coin company